Hello everyone and welcome to BHC Studio. Today we'll be looking at two very popular carbon fiber travel tripods. We have the Ulanzi Komen Zero carbon fiber tripod with the F38 quick release head and the Peak Design, the OG of the uh, high quality carbon fiber travel tripod. Which one should you get? I've kind of watched a lot of the other YouTubers and a lot of them show the tripod in its full extended mode. I actually kind of want to show a, a close up of these two tripods. So there are um, some differences that uh, I found that a lot of the YouTubers didn't pick out. Maybe a lot of them don't even have this one. And even if they do, there are subtle things. What makes this one $650 and what makes this uh, Ulanzi one, which is really great. And in between 380 to $300 depending on if you get the head without the head if you get different types of accessories I know they're giving away uh, the a different set of a center column so you can put your own heads but there are subtle differences uh, in the end if I had to choose right now um, other than the price I would say I would still pick the peak design but for a lot of people I think the Ulanzi is the better deal especially when you think about this being half the price of the Peak Design. So let's uh, talk about some of the differences that I've noticed and some of the things that I wanna show you so that you can make a proper buying decision. And then from there, you can come up with your own decision. So let's start the video now. The first thing is, is kind of packaging. I would say Peak Design is kind of like the Apple of the, the photography accessory brand. They, they have really great branding, even just sort of like Peak Design, doesn't matter which way you look at it, PD, right? And this is a really nice cardboard. Look at the design of just how this box opens up. And in here, you know, they have their, their Peak Design stickers and their bag. Actually, the quality of the bag is nicer in the Peak Design. And they also talk about their carbon footprint, even just the font choice. Like I said, they're kind of like Apple. And so uh, nothing's wrong with the, with the Ulanzi. And for some people, they're like, I don't care about the cardboard box. All I care about is the product. And so definitely we'll look into that. But just to start off with, uh, just the overall presentation and packaging, you know you're getting a premium product when you're buying the Peak Design. Now, as I mentioned, uh, there are different versions of the uh, tripod. I have the latest one with the F38 quick release tripod head, and this looks really cool. It's um, a lot of people compare it to the Peak Design because the Peak Design, when it is in the down position here, all the way down, so here, let's just loosen this here. Once it goes down, you can't, it, the ball head doesn't work, right? The ball head only works when you lift it up a little bit. But this actually, when it hits it straight down like this, and then you tighten it, it actually does make it more stable. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. But the design of the, of the actual, when you put the plate on, so they do use the Arca Swiss type plate system here. And this is part of their entire system. So, you know, they have the other one, I forgot what it's called, but you clip it onto like your strap on your backpack and you can just quickly release it. Uh, it's the same uh, system here. So you can use either Peak Designs plate system or you can use any kind of Arca Swiss type. You can see there were two little screws here that I removed so I can slide in Arca Swiss type plate straight through. So that's, I really like this system on the Peak Design. Now with the Ulanzi, with this new F38, uh, it is quick release. You just press this button and it quickly releases and it has all the advantages of the previous head that use more of the screw in vice type. And one of the things that people really like about the Ulanzi is that you can actually move horizontal like this. You can actually pan with this even when it's fully down. And then with this lock, unlocking mechanism like this, and then you pull it out like this, you got the full use here. Let's uh, loosen this here. You got the full use of the ball head and has more positions, right? Where you can kind of move it all around like this. Where the peak design is a little bit more restrictive. But number one thing that I noticed about this uh, Ulanzi quick release system is that it looks like it's Arca Swiss but it is not. This is their own proprietary. So I did confirm with Ulanzi, it only fits their own plate system. And so if you are part of a system, you have other types of plates, um, you cannot use this. Here, let's take off the Peak Design. Actually, Peak Design's plates are one of the thinnest and smallest, and you can see it just, it doesn't fit inside. It doesn't fit in here. And they've confirmed it that this is their own proprietary. So I think that's their biggest mistake. I think their next revision of this is going to be that it will be Arca Swiss type, which will probably make this a little bit wider, which is probably why they, they decided not to use Arca Swiss because their previous head, I think it was called the Y something with the um, vice, you know, you tighten it down just by spinning it. 
I actually would prefer that one because it would sit as low as this one and then it will be more compatible with, with different types of heads. And so that's the sort of the negative of this. If you don't mind buying multiple proprietary plates for your tripod, that's fine. But you know, in, in 10, 15 years, will they still make these plate system and that's the kind of thing of having a proprietary connection system that is uh, negative. Now one thing that Ulanzi did say is that they do um, give you an extra center column. Now I, they sent me this this video fluid head here which is actually great but you know as you can tell for video sure you can go uh, you can go left or right, right? You can go up and down, but you can't tilt it this way with this head. But this is nice and compact and if you are a video shooter uh, having a, a tripod head like this is great but also you can just take this off here so I didn't tighten it up like this so here you have this like this and you can use your own tripod uh, head without having to use Ulanzi's and so again at half the price it's not a big deal if you decide not to use this you pop this one in and instead and it still has the same threading so you can add their little screwdriver set here so let's just uh, open this up here and so this is their their solution and actually this thing is a great solution if peak design makes a version 2 this will probably be the way that you should do it peak design is to put the put the the allen key set the double sided set in the bottom here so that's with the ulanzi and let's look at peak design theirs is actually more it's it's more overly engineered you pull this back and now this opens up this is magnetically kept in and here is your little iphone holder here. So if you're an iPhone mobile photographer, uh, having this is kind of neat, but I would rather have the screw in the bottom. And as you may have noticed, as I was showing you this, what happened is the Allen key just fell out. And so this system is pretty good. This clip clips onto wherever you have your tripod leg. You can put it on any one of these three legs here that are kind of octagonal in shape. It feels kind of triangular but it's more octagonal and when it closes, it closes way more compact like this as you can see. But this thing here, actually when I travel, I actually take this off and I put this in my pocket because I'm so scared to, to, to lose this key because if you lose this key, there's two sizes. One is for the tripod plate and the other smaller one, there, you can use it for different, you can tighten all these uh, little bits here. I think there's only two different types of screws on this uh, on this tripod and you can use these two to do everything. So that's great. I do wish though that instead of, like I said, instead of the tripod, instead of the iPhone mobile phone holder, it'd be nice if this slipped inside here and it locked in and then you, you kind of close it up like this because you do want the hook on the bottom because if you do want to weigh down your tripod, it is nice to be able to put your camera bag or something to kind of weigh it down to stabilize. So anyways, that's an extra point for Ulanzi to be able to put their screwdriver set. And also their, their quick release plate system here. Let's let's open this up here. Can use both the the both the uh, little Allen key or like a slotted, just like a coin or something like that, which is nice. But again, the negative is this is their own proprietary plate system, which is something I'm a little bit wary of. Now, if you've done your own research and you can already see it, the Peak Design tripod is a little bit shorter when it's collapsed, but also it's shorter when it's fully extended. And also the Ulanzi is a little bit lighter. But when you, I mean, you can definitely feel the difference, but you know, just, it's not enough for me to choose one over the other because of the slight height difference or the slight weight difference. But if weight is very important to you, this is gonna be lighter. If having the most compact tripod for you to carry is more important to you. So let's say you have just limited luggage space, then this one here is gonna be a little bit more compact. The Peak Design can actually, is rated to hold more weight, but some, things, some people have noticed, so for instance, if you go to the very bottom leg, so it's gonna be the thinnest, it doesn't matter which tripod, the, the, the smaller, the bottom legs here are gonna be the, the, most, the most flexible, right? So carbon fiber, of course, will flex a little bit, but as you can see, it's very rigid, even the smallest uh, section of the Ulanzi leg. Peak design um, is a little bit more flex and you could see it more when you fully extend it out. Um, I'm not gonna show you, but you see other people showing. There is a little bit more, I don't wanna say bounce, a little bit of bounce on the, you can see it right there, right? On the, on the peak design. But when you have everything weighed down and once everything is stabilized, it is fine. I mean, the peak design, both of these are reasonably stable, especially for a compact tripod. But I did notice something, and I mentioned it before, is when this tripod, 
when this head is fully down, and as I mentioned, it connects to this main centerpiece, which is uh, it's all aluminum here. So not, not the whole tripod is carbon fiber. The legs are carbon fiber, but the head, the whole center section here, and this uh, center column is all aluminum. But this center column here, this thing touches there in three, one, two, three points, right? And once it touches, it's very stable, especially when you tighten this down. And I'm gonna maybe show a little bit of an insert uh, of what I noticed between the Peak Design and the Ulanzi. And this is kind of a make or break for some people, is stability. Now, what I noticed, okay, two things. The Ulanzi, maybe it's hard to see here. Okay, so this is the legs fully out. Peak Design fully out. You might notice that the Peak Design slope is actually wider. So the feet are planted out wider, where the Ulanzi, I think that's also the reason why maybe that this tripod, the Ulanzi is taller when it's fully extended. The legs are actually, so it feels less stable than the Peak Design. The Peak Design is more planted. Now the Peak Design only has two positions, so it has the main position and it has the, the wide position like this, right? The main and then the wide like this, right? Ulanzi has three positions, it has the main, and this does not feel as smooth as Peak Design. It has this position, and then it has the ultra low position like that, right? All three legs. And you can, if you can see, there's a little slit there. It's that little slit right there. You can go in from the top, from here. If you pull this out here, pull this out, and you go in from the top like this, and see there's a little hole there? If you pull, if you use this key here that they give you, and you go in, if you loosen this like that, if you spin this, see that? The bottom, the bottom part comes off here. It disconnects here like that. And so now that the head is small, and then you move this away like this, and now you have the short stubby end. Once you put this back in now, if you go all the way down like this, and all the legs go down like this, now the center column is not in the way. Now the Peak Design also does does it exactly the same way. There's a little line there. The way that you can use the key, you can also have this here, through the head here, you can have this removed so you can go all the way down and use it. So Peak Design is the same thing. And also, because these things come off, you can also reverse the head as well. But I thought that's something to note that you can reduce the size. But now that I have this off, I'm gonna show you two things that I'm a little bit concerned about the Ulanzi, is first of all, this tightening mechanism. It's more convenient, but I don't think that it's as stable as a Peak Design. And I'll show you by removing the head here. You could see inside here, there's a little piece of, maybe it's really hard, it, it is really hard to see, but there's a little piece of plastic, a little piece of plastic in here that pushes up against in here like this when you tighten it, and it pushes it in to make it tight. Peak Design is designed a little bit nicer. Let's just open this up. Pull the center column out. Here we go. So the Peak Design tripod here, it's an actual, you can see a long piece of metal, right? See that little piece of metal? And when you spin this, it's basically pushing this long piece of metal here across the entire length of the shaft. So in terms of tightening, I actually like the Peak Design. I think it, they do a better job. But even more importantly, look down the center column here of the Ulanzi, what do you see? This whole center column is plastic. Do you see that? The whole center column, you can see from the other way as well. See that? It's all, it's all plastic in here. This whole, this whole center column section here is all plastic. Now plastic itself is not a bad thing, but you can tell the whole thing is plastic. So once everything is tightened down and you take the, you, so let's just put this back. So let's just uh, tighten this back up again. All right, so let's just tighten this back up. You can see it going in. So this is still really well designed. There you go, it's tightening, it's tightening. There you go, tightened in. Put this in here, right, you pull this in. And if you have this out partly, like this, and you try to move this like this, see that? And I'll, and I'll do an insert to show you, there is movement, no matter how tight you make this, this will still shift a little bit. Now, if you weigh it down, meaning if you put, you know, you put this down like this, you put your camera bag to add more weight, then you're gonna get less wiggle in this section here, right? With the Peak Design, 
Now there may be, I don't know if that's, see there's a little sleeve in here. Now that might be a plastic sleeve or might be a metal sleeve. I don't know. You have to reach out to Peak Design to ask them, but what's directly surrounding that sleeve is that entire aluminum center column, right? This whole center area here is all made out of nice machine aluminum. And so that little sleeve, even if that's plastic, the rest of it is all metal. And so when you put this one in here, when you put the Peak Design, and you tighten this up like this, when you try to move this, it's completely rigid. And again, I will show you with an insert. So when this is out, and you try, and you have everything tightened out, Peak Design is way more stable this way. And as I mentioned before, if you fully drop this, and you put this down like this, and, the, and you fully extend it, and the height is good enough for you, because those three points are touching that center column, you get way more stability on the Peak Design tripod. So that's another thing that is a, is a bonus points for the Peak Design, is just the overall rigidity of this center column, either if it's out or if it's back in, although the ball head does not, and see funny things, look at that. So, so even Ulanzi's proprietary plate works on the Peak Design, even though the Peak Design doesn't work on, or any Arca Swiss type will not work on, on Ulanzi's head. But this is a really cool head. So I think the previous version is better with the, just the, the vise uh, tightening in, or if Ulanzi remakes this a little bit bigger and makes it into Arca Swiss, and this is an awesome head because as a ball head, this can also pan, where this one cannot pan. You have to really, as it's out here, let's just pull it out. You have to first of all lift it up here and out then tighten it. This thing actually doesn't do anything. This just makes it more compact. You tighten it up like this, and if you loosen this, you can move it like this, but see it's loosey-goosey, right? So once you find level, so there is level on the top here where the Ulanzi, at least this F38 head, is more for level, sort of like left to right this way like this, depending on the position you're at, but you cannot pan smoothly if you're doing a video. For stills, I think it's fine, but if you're doing video, you can, like the Ulanzi, you can get a extra center column and use your own heads, but then you can't take advantage of this uh, compact design. But uh, same with the Ulanzi, when you add this here, this isn't gonna sit as low as this F38 ball head that really sinks right inside. Here, let's do it. Sinks right inside, see that? So it keeps it as compact as possible, but still the peak design is even more compact. And so when you use a third party tripod head like this, and you put it on, it's gonna make it even taller. And that's what I found with, with me adding my own tripod head. It's just not as compact uh, as I want it to be. So that's another bonus for the Ulanzi, but again, because it is a proprietary plate system, that's just kind of a no-go for me. Another thing is that the Ulanzi does have a quarter 20, which is very useful. You can put like sort of magic arms and stuff and maybe put a microphone, put a monitor, put a light, and attach something, that's very functional. Maybe as a travel tripod, that's not an accessory that a lot of travel photographers would want, but for me, I would love to have a quarter 20 on the Peak Design. Now what the Peak Design does have, which is less useful, but it's still there, is that it does have like a little threading here that you can use their, their anchor system. And also there's another little thread here at the bottom of the hook. So you can put the Peak Design anchor one here one over here and then have this like this and you can put a strap on here. So without having to use the case, you can attach a strap directly to this. With the Ulanzi, I'm sure there's enough third party apps where you can use the quarter 20, add a little eyelet loop and then put a threading through there and then have another little strap here and you could still use a strap onto this tripod. Not as convenient, but I actually still think a quarter 20 is a better use. So maybe peak design on your next update on your tripod, put a quarter 20 there, and still have it as a little loop if you want to. So, as I kind of told you right at the beginning of the video, if I'm gonna pick between these two tripods, uh, even pretending that the prices aren't the same, uh, I will pick this, even though there's a lot of things I like better about the Ulanzi, I like that they have the screw built into the bottom that's more functional. I like how the ball head also has a pan ability. I also like that it's lighter and it feels, the legs feel stronger, but in the end, this can actually hold more weight. It has more stability down the center column. I do like this system here, how you can lift this up and down. That's kind of a preference thing, but I just prefer, it just feels more stable 
versus just kind of pushing this in. And like I said, the piece that's inside that's pushing in is plastic. And so that will wear out quickly where the peak design is, is, is a metal design. So I think it's, overall, this is still designed better. Now, of course, uh, Ulanzi had the chance of making this probably after studying the peak design. So of course, there's gonna be things about the Ulanzi that's gonna be better than the peak design. But I think peak design on their next iteration could easily put a pan sort of level. So it'll make this a little bit taller, but at least it can still pan. So I think that's probably the next thing that they will fix as well is putting the yeah here we go i even move this so i won't lose it putting this into the bottom right putting this into the bottom instead of having it clipped on i think this has kind of been a pain for a lot of people i don't trust it i've had this for a couple years and i've dropped this many times and so i'm so scared of dropping i just put it in my pocket there's a loop in here so you can again use a peak design anchor system and just put it on your keychain or something so you won't lose it so if this is your really you know your primary tripod then just make sure you have that or buy a second set Overall construction quality is higher on the Peak Design overall. Everything just moves smoother and I think everything adjusting is feels more refined on the Peak Design. And if you go to Peak Design's uh, YouTube account, you know, they have a th almost a 30 minute video explaining all the features of the Peak Design tripod. It is a lifetime warranty. Just the, as I was saying, the fit and finish, each tripod has their own unique Right here, there's a QR code, and that will be your serial number, but there's also a serial number on here. You register with Peak Design, and it is lifetime warranty. And so, it just even just kind of like the design aesthetics, the font choices, all these things, like I said, it has kind of an Apple-esque attention to detail that I really like. And, you know, I did find that with Ulanzi, sometimes there's one of these that just kind of always, oh, here they go, right there. See, it's, it got stuck just for a second, see that? Sometimes it doesn't, there you go. So little things like that. These little um, little fit and finishes that the Peak Design, I've never had a miss unlock on the Peak Design. With this one here, every once in a while, this it's always just this one leg. It, there you go, see, it's stuck now. And there you go, there you go, now it works again. And so those little things, and as I mentioned before, the angle of this, and the angle of this, this is a greater angle. Like, see, here you go, you can see it like this, right? Now if you extend this out five sections, you could see that this, sits a little bit lower, but the angle is just right. It feels more stable. So these little things that Peak Design has thought about, these little details or packaging, also every part on the Peak Design, you can order directly from them. So not only is there a lifetime warranty, but anything that goes missing, anything that breaks off over time, well, Peak Design will have part numbers for everything. And I bet you in 10, 15, 20 years, if you're like, oh, this clip broke, Peak Design, um, can you order me one? you could probably still order it. And they have kind of longevity in mind. Or Ulanzi, one thing about them that I really like is because they're very quick. So this things, like I said, this is the second version of the head. They have multiple packages where I think this current one comes with this free. Other kits I've seen, they give you this ball head or you have optional heads. You know, they give you different packages. This also comes with the spikes. So if you are in nature and you want more stability, so you're spiking into like gravel or spiking into grass, that's included. Peak Design has it, but you have to pay extra for it. I think it's like $25 or $29, so it's not like an unreasonable price to pay, but you have to pay extra for it, which makes sense because if you do need it, you'll pay the extra dollars and get it. But all these accessories, all these parts, they all have part numbers and you can order them directly from Peak Design. Where Ulanzi, you know, their strength is they're very adaptable and very quick to change the market, uh, market forces. But with that, you know, will they have this tripod plate in 10, 15, 20 years? I don't know, maybe they will. Or if some, one of these parts go, will they be able to sell you just single parts? Maybe they can, but in five or 10 years, 15 years, will they still have it? I mean, there's no guarantee that Peak Design will have it, but I think if you look at their bags, you look at their branding, look at how they run their business, I would have more faith that in, in 15, 20 years, this tripod, you could still update it. And then also there's a 30 minute, almost a 30 minute video of how to maintain your Peak Design tripod. All about, you know, how to take this mechanism all apart, the type of grease they use, all the different parts and the parts numbers, how to remove these things here. I think they're inside the bag, they actually have a removing tool to remove these little bits. So in terms of longevity and professional use, and again, I talked about that center column, how they, this one might use a plastic sleeve, but this one here, the main center column is actually made out of plastic. So in terms of longevity, this one here should last longer, but you know what? At $650 right now, US retail, 
and this one here fluctuates between 300 and 380 depending on what accessories are currently available almost a double price difference and the price difference isn't just double randomly i think this is tested longer this has more stability this is built better and the structural integrity is higher on the peak design so those are the differences that i've found check out all the other youtubers that have their own reasons why they like one or the other Definitely price will be a big deal. You know, if you can't, I mean, 650 is a lot of money. There is an aluminum version of this, but if you want uh, carbon fiber, which is nice and warm to the touch. So if you have the aluminum one and it's cold, you're gonna feel it in your hands. It's gonna be a cold feeling tripod. This is more stable uh, because it's carbon fiber. In cold weather, holding this like this is no problem. Holding this one like this is no problem. You know, there is a reason why the Peak Design is a little bit more expensive. And if you can afford it and you're a professional, I would actually say get Peak Design. Unless having the kind of unique head features is important to you. But again, with Peak Design, you can order a, a separate center column here and then add your own tripod head. But then you lose a little bit of the effectiveness of having that little, those three little legs here that stabilize the head on this. So thank you so much for watching guys. Let me know if you have any questions down below about these two tripods and I'll try to answer it. And thank you Ulanzi for sending this out to me and thank you Peak Design. A couple of years ago they sent this out to me. I actually shot like a one hour YouTube video explaining all the features of this and never posted it because it was so nerdy and so long that I thought who would want to watch that video but Anyways, if you have any questions, let me know about either of these tripods. Thank you again, Peak Design. Thank you, Alonzi, for sending these out to me. Happy shooting.